Okay, uh, up next we have Jenny Campana, who is with our communications division. She'll be talking about the public involvement and responsibilities of the contractors. Good afternoon. Uh, we're here today to talk a little bit about uh, something new that we're doing with this specific contract for the Lincoln South Beltway. Uh, and this is to make sure that we have somebody uh, with the contractor that is selected on staff to be able to help with the communication needs, especially since this is such a large project and it has such a large public impact as well as visibility. Uh, so what we want to be able to say is that uh, we all know that this is a very big deal. Um, and so we want to make sure that we have somebody available for, on your staff that will be able to assist us with our communication needs. Uh, this includes having someone that is uh, dedicated for communication purposes that can serve even as a PR spokesperson. So they have to be able to be comfortable talking to the media. More often than not, the media is gonna be running through me, um, but we also need to be able to have someone who can speak intelligently about the project and knows the ins and outs to be able to support those needs as we, as we have them come forward. We also say that this position shouldn't be, um, well, it should be somebody who's very knowledgeable in the communication field and should have recent experience working with the media understanding how to build strategic plans, communication plans, to be able to keep the public informed of where we're going, and also be able to highlight a lot of the good things that this project is gonna be able to bring forward. So our emphasis is always on making sure that we're engaged with the public, but we also wanna make sure that we're really telling a good story for everyone that's involved, including you guys. Um, this is a big project. We wanna make sure that uh, everyone gets the credit where credit is due and be able to tell that story to the public. When we're talking about strategic planning, what we would want to be able to say is for strategic communication, they need to be able to identify where are key pieces of communication that we have to do, what are the methods of communication that we need to push forward, and be able to give some examples or uh, recommendations on the media that we tend to use. So it needs to be able to, to develop talking points, whether we need infographics, whether we need to have some video production, and the use of social media. So they need to be fairly, this is when we're saying somebody has to have some good experience in this, they need to have some good experience, some good background uh, in this field. We're saying that you have to have a minimum of one person. If you want to have a team of people, that is fine. Um, we're just saying that we need to have at least one. They also need to be able to be at this pre-construction meeting, which is a, a, new, a new piece that we have going forward. Um, that they will be able to be at the, at the public meeting that's being planned as part of our environmental commitments. This meeting will be held the month before construction <coughs> would commence. The purpose of this meeting is to present final design and phasing plans which require co coordination with the contractor and design consultant. Representatives with the contractor must attend to assist in presenting the information and answering the questions. We anticipate probably 300 attendees. <coughs> so whoever is your communication person, we imagine they will be working very closely with our division to make sure that we are well prepared to be able to answer people's questions as they come in in a multitude of formats to make sure that we're really hitting the audience in every way we possibly can. I would like to note that we have the discretion that if you have someone that um, on staff that's not s suiting the needs and it's not um, suitable for what we're trying to move forward, we have the right to be able to say you need to find somebody else uh, because this is critical, this is important, and we want to make sure that everybody's on the same page. They will also, this person is also expected to provide weekly progress reports on current weekly deliverables and future deliverables, um, and this could include both city and county updates as well. Um, when we refer to the updates, we're looking for changes that would affect the timeline or traffic patterns. We want to make sure that we're being aware, made aware of changes um, to the general public and prepare regular press releases for updates, and as well as the use of social media. Currently, we are planning on running our social media through our house, um, so we need to make sure that we're getting current um, and frequent updates coming forward so that we can keep things updated through our social media. It is possible, depending on who's selected for this, if we feel like that this um, communication person is capable, that that social media responsibility may get turned over to them but that depends entirely on the person that's selected. We want to make sure that they're comfortable and we're comfortable with going forward. I really anticipate that this person or team will be working very closely with both myself and Sarah throughout their life of this project to keep regular and consistent updates back and forth uh, so that we're all on the same page. Please note that anything that goes out uh, from this person would need to be vetted through our office first. So depending, on, again, on the team or the person that's selected, we anticipate that there will be some things that come directly from the communication person 
for this project, uh, but of course it needs to be vetted through us first as well.